The industry minister is rejecting assertions that he fired the chief executive officer of the Dairy Development Board because of a disagreement over the granting of an import license. Carl Samuda called a press briefing today where he flatly rejected suggestions made by PNP MP Dr. Dayton Campbell in Gordon House yesterday. First, let's hear the claims which Dr. Campbell made in Gordon House shortly after Mr. Samuda had made a presentation to the sectoral debate. TVJ's Andrea Chisholm reports. The opposition spokesman on agriculture, Dr. Dayton Campbell, told the Parliament on Wednesday why he says the chief executive officer of the Dairy Development Board, Hugh Graham, was fired on May 5. The dismissal, I'm told, follows a disagreement between Graham and the minister over granting of a license to a company to import milk powder from Colombia for resale on the local market. The member has uttered a statement that is totally erroneous and is based on no empirical fact whatsoever. In addition to that, if he wishes to make that statement outside of the precincts of this parliament, he will be dealt with appropriately. As a student of the law, I have my evidence for everything that I'm saying. And with that, Dr. Campbell detailed his defense. He told Parliament that the Dairy Board rejected the company's application for the import license. On the basis that Colombia is not permitted as a source for importation of dairy products based on international agreements. And that is because of the episodic status that has been assigned to them. But the company pressed further, writing to the minister, asking him to intervene. At that time, Minister Carl Samuda stood by the board's decision not to grant the import license. But that was not the end of the matter, according to Dr. Campbell. The company continued to lobby, and in January this year, Mr. Samuda called a meeting with the stakeholders. At the meeting, the technocrats were directed by the minister to grant approval for the company to import 100 metric tons of milk powder per year for sale on the local market. Notwithstanding, notwithstanding their technical objections, the ministry's technical officers indicated that the source of the imported milk powder would need to be changed for them to change their position. So, according to Dr. Campbell, the then CEO of the Dairy Board, Hugh Graham, asked for the minister's instructions in writing. Those written instructions were not received. A Dairy Board member stated on condition of his or her identity not being disclosed that Minister Stamuda's instruction were that Mr. Graham should be fired for disobeying his instructions regranting the milk powder import license to the company. The source added that the minister also threatened to dissolve the dairy board if it failed to dismiss the CEO. The Agricultural Credit Board, which was also chaired by Mr. Graham, was then dissolved in February this year. The opposition also told Parliament that Carl Samuda, who is a dairy farmer, established a 15-acre demonstration plot of Mombasa dairying feeding grass on his personal property in Nollis, St. Catherine. That was done with the resources of the dairy board and 10 acres more than what was agreed to. It is understood that the dismissed dairy board CEO had also disagreed to a further 35 acres of grass being planted on the minister's farm. Andrea Chisholm, TVJ News.